so good evening friends today we are going to discuss about the economics basic concept and uh, what are the economics and uh, today is you always mention like I, I always used to say digital notes so digital notes digital notes one I'm going to say digital notes one and uh, this is about economics economics okay so let's take in wider perspective what is economics and uh, then we are going to discuss about uh, 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 what is two main stems macroeconomics and microeconomics so economics okay i'm going to write down a short mi and ma mi is microeconomics ma is macroeconomics so what is the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics you should be very careful with when you are going to give the definition of microeconomics and macroeconomics being an engineering student when i started my mba it's very tough for me to understand the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics because engineers most of the time deal with the microeconomics most of the time i'm saying most of the time because engineers are working on a project and that project has certain outputs which they are giving to the company and that is going to generate the revenues okay my first question was with my cohorts who are from the financial background who are cs cfa that can you give me the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics so one of my colleague who is really very intelligent and he is a cfa qualified so he has given very beautiful answer the answer was once you are talking about something which is internal to your organization going to impact your family or something to the individual then it is the microeconomics whenever you are talking to something which is going to impact whole country one country two country three countries then it is the microeconomics 2020 is the one of the challenging year which is really a good example from economics point of view to understand the implications i am not saying it's a good year because we all are dealing with the pandemics okay but from economics point of view this is one of the subject which is going to study about the different aspects of pandemics when we are going to understand the different of uh, aspects of pandemics it means for example if you are going to ask to your country what is your gdp then they will not answer what is the gdp of my country why it is falling what is going up they will start to say look into the different perspective look into the different countries all the countries are going into the low into gdp that's what my performance is low it means they are talking about the macroeconomics point of view macroeconomics point of view it means the problem is faced by whole world covid is faced by whole world that's how this uh, pandemic is going on that's how the performance of my government is low and this is how you are going to get the uh, reply from your government so it means they are talking about the macroeconomics let's talk about certain examples of uh, macroeconomics and microeconomics for example a farmer is growing crops a farmer is growing crops crops is very good and he is getting very good earning now this is the example of microeconomics why this is the example of microeconomics because farmer is 
producing crops and farmer is getting money it means this is going to give impact to individual family member of farmer either to the village or to the town or whole area or city now what will happen when this farmer income is clubbed with very good rain very good rain in the country it means crops are going to be very high in terms of production so production of that country overall increase in terms of crops and this is going to increase the gdp of that country now if it, let me take the country c1 i am not going to take individual example of any country that i don't want to evaluate her countries which country is doing or well or not well but suppose a country c1 its gdp increased due to the income from farmers good rain while the country 2 its gdp is decreased due to the drought farmers are not able to produce good crops it means when we compare this this is the example of macroeconomics where the rain has impacted at big level and when we are combining the income of all the farmers as a country level when we are comparing to another country this is the one of the best example of macroeconomics okay one more example i told you earlier i am an engineer and engineers used to work on automation now suppose a company a firm if i am not taking again the name of any company a company if is working on an automation automation this automation is very good this is going to decrease the cost of a project by 200 million dollar let's take this example 200 million dollar now what will happen this 200 million dollar is a very good example for the owner of this organization because it is going to save the cost of 200 million dollars now what will be the intervention from the government because this 200 million dollars this is going to cut away the job of for example 20000 persons whatever data i am giving here that is just for example i am not giving here to compare the data from authentic source whenever required data from authentic source i will give you the data with source taken from where i am taking data and that will be the real data this data is just i am taking as an example to explain you the concepts so now 200 million dollar saving is going for this organization but problem of government is that it is going to cut the jobs of 20000 people now what will be the priority of government you should think from their that perspective if 20000 people's job is going to cut it is one of the issue of macroeconomics this is one of the issue of macroeconomics so here like government want to save the job of people and they may pass a resolution to hold this project for the time being so you may see that you have achieved something very big by automation but its impact is assessed by the economist as well as the country level for their own benefits now in the covid let's take into the period of covid covid 19 you may have seen certain governments are going to give you a furlough scheme so what is furlough scheme furlough scheme is going to give you certain benefits while you are employed or you are sitting at home have you ever thought why why government is paying for you when you are sitting at home 
that is the issue of macroeconomics because due to covid 19 there is uncertainty people are afraid they are not going to spend their own income because they don't know what is going to happen tomorrow so to avoid this uncertainty government is giving you a support that yes you will be employed i'm going to pay a certain amount to your employer so that you can spend and when you are spending that is going towards the demand in a country so this demand and supply is one of the main thing when we are discussing about the economics either microeconomics or macroeconomics okay i hope now you are clear with the basic definitions of microeconomics and macroeconomics let me quickly without writing give you certain examples of microeconomics and macroeconomics let's take this way you are earning for your family you are earning for your family you are getting certain salary per month for your salary example of microeconomics or macroeconomics micro because you are earning for your family microeconomics but you are employed at a country level whenever employment data collected at country level it means you are a employed person you are not unemployed person it means you are contributing toward the employment or global employment of your country it means this is the example of now macroeconomics same thing different perspective a farmer is producing crops microeconomics crops is considering into big level toward the gdp of that country macroeconomics you have opened a factory to produce apparels clothes microeconomics that apparel production thousands of people like you started contributed towards the one of the leader in manufacturing of textile industries as a country macroeconomics hope you are clear with this okay so macroeconomics versus microeconomics we have covered today example i have given to you uh, and uh, then uh, now why economics is there i'm going to repeat the question why economics is there so whenever somebody say to you okay give me madhuraj you are making this video what is the purpose of this video if i do not know what i am doing it means it involves risk there is a one very famous person warren buffett you can google him he is one of the successful person he always say a risk is involved a risk is involved when you do not know when you do not know what you are doing it means a risk is involved when you do not know what you are doing until unless you know what you are doing there is no risk so when you are watching this video you should be aware with the importance of this subject economics why you are why you are studying economics why will you study economics why why there are so many people are talking about economics why why your government is giving you the money in covid 19 why they are giving you free food essential items in covid 19 so to understand that let's start to discuss about what is economics what is its importance so this is the topic of today's digital notes one and after this we will complete next you will see in the uh, next lecture okay so <clears throat> economics is basically economics is basically
deals with the allocation of resources allocation of resources okay forget me for my uh, writing i will i'll put in uh, your electronic form you can read it economics is the study of allocation of resources now is this definition correct probably yes probably no why probably yes probably no because for example you have surplus of onions sometimes you may have seen suppose this is the amount of onion available into the market and nobody is ready to take it would you care to allocate this onions probably no because nobody is ready to take this so there is one word which i am going to apply in front of this and that is the adject adjective is care economics is the study of allocation of scarce resources not easily available resources if resources are available easily then economics will not be required again i am coming into covid 19 that's why all the governments is talking about essential goods they are giving you either subsidies on essential goods essential supply essential items nhs is not stopping their services because it is the essential item essential resources required okay so economics is the study of allocation of scarce resources let me repeat again economics is the study of allocation of scarce resources if resources are not scarce economics are is not required okay for example if you go to country side of a country let me check my test okay if you go to the country side of a country okay and there you are going to in a garden of garden of apples okay if you are going to countryside in the garden of apples you are in, into the garden and you have plucked one apple i'm giving you the layman terminology if you are going into the garden of apple you have plucked one apple is there someone going to worried about this probably no because there is surplus of apples there in the garden even birds are taking apples local animals are taking apples but that apple when it is coming into a shop or supermarket probably here if you are going to take one apple without paying money to supermarket this is a problem reason because now all the supply chain execution everything involved and that apple is ready to sell in the supermarket it is not farmers apple now it is a scarce resource here birds are not eating apples animals are not eating apples and these apples are for sale supermarket is going to get revenue from that apples it means these apples are costly now and you cannot take that apple either you have to pay so here this comes into the study and here you start to take about pricing and all things so economics is a study of the scarce resources another is outsourcing very famous word nowadays global companies working on outsourcing what is outsourcing suppose a country c1 here you can get one person month work one person month means one person working for full month 
वन पर्सन मंथ वर्क इन थाउजेंड पाउंड अनदर कंट्री सी टू हेयर यू कैन गेट सेम वन पर्सन मंथ इन फाइव हंड्रेड पाउंड वट विल हैपन हेयर वेर यू वॉन्ट टू शिफ्ट यूर मार्केट हेयर और हेयर Obviously, you are going to shift your market here, five hundred pounds per month. Now, what will be the drawback of this? After some time, every people, every person want to do his work here. So here, resources crisis will start. Resources crisis will start, and now these resources are going to be. is scared after some time so there are different government uh, regulations or uh, legal bodies involved in managing these uh, things and uh, this is known as the pow uh, power of economics okay one more example for today and then we are going to stop here dumping dumping the word is now today's really studying with the e waste what is e waste electronic waste electronic waste for example you are going a CRT monitor, CRT monitor, cathode ray tube monitor, old monitors, very big monitor. Okay, and you are now rich. You want to throw away this monitor, but due to some reasons, you got hundred pounds for this your monitor, and you want to sell it. now what happened the person who is purchasing this 100 pound monitor he is not purchasing from you but what he is going to do listen carefully because dumping is one of the uh, strongest uh, point of economics which is going into discussion nowadays this person is purchasing from a number of people like you and collecting monitors of everyone and what it is doing he is purchasing in 100 pounds from individual customers in a country and now he is going to pay going to sell this into a another country c2 and he is selling 120 gbps one monitor so he is making profit of 20 gbps what what is the problem here this country is purchasing and they are distributing there but after some times this monitor is going to convert it to dump because technology is going to be obsolete either it is not working or it is very old so this is going into the waste and that waste is known as the dumping and you know when you are recycling these monitors here in this country this is going to cause lot of different uh, implications from the climate point of view uh, of uh, from environmental perspectives so all these and these implications have went into now country c2 so this is known as the one of the e waste dumping another thing of dumping is another example this is i am talking about old goods now talking about new goods for example i am making a cell phone in country c1 you are making a cell phone in country c2 but due to labor cost your production is very low cost i am making that mobile is suppose 100 gbp you are producing same in 80 gbp now you can start to export your mobile in my country and you are going to get 
20 GBP profit on per piece of mobile. So what will happen? You are going to sell your goods in 90 pounds instead of 100 pounds. You are going to sell your goods in 90 pounds. I am selling in 100 pounds. You are going to get a profit of 10 pounds. Customers are not going to purchase my goods because I am selling in 100 pounds. It means you are going to conquer the market in this country. So what will happen in that case, this country C2, C2 will put a 100 pound fees in the form of either custom duty or some other regulations according to the country so that it can provide a fair market value to its own manufacturers and sometimes they are putting high because if they are importing imported goods are 110 and their own goods is 100 so that their own manufacturer can get advantage so these are known as the anti-dumping laws so anti-dumping laws are applied on old goods as well as on the new goods so macroeconomic part of points of view these are very important so what we have discussed today, we have discussed today economics, what is the importance of economics, why we should study economics, macroeconomics, microeconomics, different examples of microeconomics and macroeconomics and dumping law, why dumping laws are important, what is the labor cost, how you are going to transfer goods from one place to another place, one country to another country how you are taking advantage of this from the macroeconomics point of view. So this is all for today, Digital Notes 1 of Economics and uh, this topic is going to cover more about macroeconomics and uh, in Digital Notes 2, we will talk about how you are calculating GDP and how GDP is going to impact the progress of a country. Thanks for watching, you can share. If you like the videos, if you have any feedback, you can email to me. Please do not go on the data because their data all data used for example. Thank you.